Photographer Explained podcast episode 174, Composition Tips and Techniques, Talky Bit. Hi, Rick here. This is the Talky Bit from episode 174. Composition, for me, is all about what you want to take a photo of and making that the best image that you can. For me, this is the thing that you need to concentrate on. Makes sense, doesn't it? What's important in photography is the final image. That is what we should be focusing on, no pun intended. Work hard on your composition and you will take your photos to the next level and it follows that you will become a better photographer, right? This is what we all want to do, isn't it? Become better photographers. Sure, there are rules of photography, but they don't help you pick an interesting subject, do they? They give you some guidelines for how to compose a photo. So there's a step before this using the rules of composition, which is it's like the why bit, if you like, of taking photos. No, the rules of composition, they are the how bit and there's nothing wrong with them. Far from it. They're very helpful and I recommend you look at them all and decide which ones will help you. Now, don't try to learn all of them. Give the ones you like the look of a go and see what you get. And there are some rules of composition that I struggle with, to be honest with you. There is some quite complicated and funky stuff out there. And I don't do complicated or funky. Oh, no. But if you use the rule of thirds, something happens straight away, which I will remind you of. Yes, I mentioned it earlier on in the podcast episode, but I repeat it here in the in the talk a bit because it's such good stuff. If you've been taking your photos with the horizon in the middle, just moving to the upper or the lower line, does that help? Doesn't really, does it? This will dramatically improve your photos. That one simple thing will improve your photos. And it will help you get the horizon level, which has to be a bonus, doesn't it? That's such a great tip, especially for landscape photography, but for any kind of photography. And there's another thing. This is the thing that popped into my head quite literally as I was writing the script. You need to get the best composition you can when taking the photo. Don't just take photos of whatever and try to make the composition work afterwards in Lightroom, Photoshop, whatever you use. No, that is not the plan here. Get the composition right in camera and also get all the technical stuff right in camera. Now, you might need to take more than one photo to get the best composition and that's fine. But in time, once you've worked on this, the day will come when you can take one photo and move on. That's our end point. I used to take, say, 10 photos of the same thing and hope to have a great composition somewhere when I looked at the photos on my computer. That's what I used to do. Do not do this. Do not do this. Work on the before you take the photo bit. Recompose if you're not happy, but do this trying to get the best composition as you take the photo. You can quickly turn a good potential photo into a great one just by doing this. And the more you practice, the quicker it will happen. We can and should all be working on this all the time. That's not just beginner photographers. That's all of us. Right then. That lot came out of nowhere, or some of it did, but hopefully that makes sense. Photography is about photos, and what's important is the final image. All somebody looking at your photo knows is what they're looking at. Let's not forget that. Right, I'm done for now. Thanks for watching. Check out the podcast at all good podcast providers and the podcast website at photographyexplainedpodcast.com where you can also subscribe to receive a weekly email from me. What is not to love? Thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe. Cheers from me, Rick.